I'm not sure. You know, I asked the ref um, in that moment, why isn't it reviewable? You know, it still was an elbow. You know, and I was told it was accidental. You know, I don't know why they didn't look at it. Should have looked at it. I don't know. Um, on a home floor game one, we missed a big, big opportunity. You know, um, we had a lot of, a lot of opportunities to win, man. Countless of the, of attempts to put us up. Um, just one of them nights, man. Just one of them nights. Yeah, um, I think we just got mixed up a few times, you know, where, you know, we we mix slip, um, guys slipping, Corver slipped for a couple threes, he got open, um, you know, just understanding to stay locked in, you know, all year we play a certain way of, you know, having help defense and our natural instincts sometimes take a, take us, takes us away from that in a split second, and, you know, them guys get that shot off quick and, you know, we got to, Understand and be disciplined. You know, we got to lock in them guys, take away them three-point shots, and, you know, we'll be fine. What were some of the keys to bouncing back this week? Um, the confidence that we had game one, you know, of knowing a lot of things we did wrong, and we only lost the game by one point. You know, um, we we back here at home. Um, everybody's still high with confidence. None, nothing's changed. You know, I think more than anything, what sucks is us have, having to wait to tomorrow to play. So, you know, I think we'd definitely be ready. Uh, yeah, it was we should have won. We should have had that game and was more so like, you know, damn, now we got to wait to redeem ourselves to get this feeling off us, you know, um, that was more sort of feeling, you know. Confidence. All of it, the confidence hasn't went anywhere. If anything, you know, it, it heightened to even want to get back out there. You know, if we had had the opportunity to come out and play tonight, we would have played tonight just, uh, you know, how amped and, you know, how, how excited we are just to get back out there and play. In the last two years, what was it like? Um, I mean... It was just different, you know. It was just completely different. Like I said, we wouldn't be sitting here today with the high confidence that we have if we didn't go through the previous years. So it's hard to say how we were or what, um, you know. But I know now, you know, where our confidence stands and, you know, our approach and our feeling what, how it was last night. What's the feeling like after that chaotic play that ended in the fourth quarter? <sighs> Like one of them, you ever seen the Six Man, the movie Six Man? It was like somebody was sitting on the rim. Ant Antoine was sitting on the rim, <laughs> <laughs> kept hitting the ball out. So it sucked though. But you know, like I said, man, we got a lot of great looks. I thought my pullback was good. CJ's, JV's, CJ three was a walk in, dead wide open three point shot that we had lived with every day of the week, you know, and I told him that, um, like I said, you know, it was just Antoine up there last night knocking the ball out. Mark Corver said after the game last night that you got the team improving things now, understanding where he was trying to work in. Does it change that much for him or does it draw him? I mean, yeah, it's much different. You know, you take away a guy like um, Kyrie Irving. I mean, the dynamics that he brings to the game – is tremendous, and it's it's no replacing that, you know. Um, so with that, like they got to be a grinding out team.